The San Gabriel Mission is a fortress-style building. The capped buttresses and the tall, narrow windows are unique among the missions in the California chain. I chose this mission because it has the most bells of any mission in California. The six-bell wall was built after the original bell structure was destroyed during the earthquake of 1812. The bells would ring to call the people who lived here to different activity throughout their day. The mission is made from adobe bricks covered with white plaster. The roof is made from red Spanish roof tiles. Located about 40 miles from Huntington Beach is the historic landmark, Mission San Gabriel Archangel. It is located in San Gabriel, California and was founded by Father Juan Piro Serra on September 8, 1771. It is the fourth mission built in California, named after the Archangel Gabriel. As we head to the church, you are going to see a very famous grapevine. The mission was very successful producing all the wine for nearby churches. Mission San Gabriel had the largest vineyard in California. These vines are cuttings from the original vine planted here in 1771. This mission produced more wine than any other mission in the mission chain. This is the mission church. It was completed in 1805 after 14 years of construction. The original floors were made out of dirt and covered with stone. The altar was made in Mexico and put together like a puzzle once it arrived here in 1812. Next we see one of the mission's most cherished pieces. It is a painting of Our Lady of Sorrows and it's over 300 years old. In this area of the church, several Franciscan fathers are buried. In this room, you will find the baptistry. This is the original baptismal and it is still in use today. There are two cemeteries at Mission San Gabriel. Just outside the church is the Indian Cemetery, the oldest cemetery in Los Angeles County, where there are about 6,000 Native Americans buried. The Holy Cemetery is located just outside the church. The only people who can be buried here are the priests who serve here. Here's some of the original equipment that they used to make wine. You will find a lot of interesting information in the museum of Mission San Gabriel. It is originally the sleeping quarters for the Padres and the priests. Now you can find display cases with many different artifacts. You can see everything from baskets woven by the Native American women to the original branding iron, which they used to brand their cattle. Displaying here are the oldest known paintings by neophytes. They are unique and treasure paintings of the stations of the cross using ship's sails as a canvas. Visiting the California missions is fun. My favorite part of Mission San Gabriel is the Mission Museum because of all the cool stuff you can see here. You can still attend Mass here on Sundays. There are tours available too. I have a goal to visit each mission in California. I have visited seven of the 21 missions, so far including the farthest north in Sonoma and the farthest south in San Diego.